Hi everyone! Today I would like to review this uh, watercolor paper sent to me by Zen Art Supplies and um, it's a block of 20 sheets. It's a 140 pound paper and it's 100% cotton. This block is only bound on two sides. So the, the two other sides here uh, make it easier to actually remove the sheets. The surface feels really nice. Um, you can definitely tell it's cotton. It has a little texture because it's cold press. And it's acid free and it's professional quality watercolor paper. So the Zen Art Supplies company is based out of the UK. It's a small company and the supplies are designed by artists. Uh, this paper in particular does not have any optical brighteners and it was made on a traditional mold cylinder. It says that because of its surface, you can achieve velvety smooth and even washes with amazing vibrant and transparent colors. So in the spirit of Christmas, and since I'm still working on my Christmas cards, I will take a sheet of this paper and make a Christmas card with watercolor and see how I like it. All right, so I know I already painted this subject last week with the new Daniel Smith gouache, but I thought that since I was familiar with the subject already, it would be fun to paint it again with watercolors to try out this paper. It might not have been the best subject to try different techniques like big washes and all, but I must say that just putting the paint on the paper, it was pretty nice because the colors didn't really sink in and fade away. They stayed nice and bright, which is unusual for watercolor. They often sink in and lighten, and so you have to add more and more layers. I did really, really small washes <laughs> in the small areas, but they, they were very easy. The paint was very easy to, to, to spread. Uh, I didn't have any brush strokes problems. Uh, it was very pleasant to use. I wanted my painting to be nice and bright and not necessarily do some uh, transparent painting. Um, I wanted to look a little bit more like the gouache painting I, I did last week. M maybe not as thick, but I really didn't have much trouble. I didn't have to add very many layers to render that effect. The only thing I had to be careful with is the fact that because it's cotton paper, the layers stay wet a little longer. So I had to make sure that everything uh, was dry before I added more colors. You know, on cellulose paper, the everything evaporates really quick or it sinks in. I'm not quite sure wh how it how it works, but bottom line is that if you're doing big washes and all, or adding different layers, doing wet on wet, you have to hurry up because it dries really fast. On cotton paper, it doesn't. You have a lot more time. The paint spreads very nicely, evenly. And uh, it feels like this paper is actually really good for that too. So all in all, I really enjoyed using it and I'm very happy with the result. My chocolate looks pretty much the same as the one I did in gouache last week. And I hope that whoever receives this card will like it. So if you're interested in trying out this paper, I'm going to put an Amazon link down below in the description box. That way you can go check it out and see the different sizes as well. They have smaller sizes, but they also have uh, square pads. So you should be able to find something you like. The price is pretty reasonable too for a block like this. So yeah, that's it. Thank you Zen Art Supplies for sending me this uh, watercolor paper to try it and share it with everyone. It was very nice to play with it. Have a wonderful day everyone. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye bye.